The current death toll stands at 22, 21 in the state of Rio Grande do Sul, one in the neighbouring states of Santa Catarina. That number could well rise as more tragedies are uncovered. Uh, people who, whose car has been hit by a falling tree or who've been drowned uh, when the banks of a river have broken. Some 66 cities affected across southern Brazil. Around 5,000 people have been rendered homeless, about a third of them definitively so. So there'll be plenty of reconstruction work but the immediate priority is of rescue. The national government is sending a force to the region uh, made up of civil defence specialists and also the military because a lot of these rescue operations will require helicopters. In some regions, people have been told to get up onto the roof of their buildings and await rescue that way. Tim, if you, I don't know if you've been following this, but here in Europe over the past couple of uh, weeks and months, uh, you, countries like Greece have been experiencing uh, wildfires and now flooding. Is Brazil witnessing more of these freak weather uh, conditions as well? Well, this is an entirely natural phenomenon, the extratropical or mid-latitude cyclone. On the edge of the tropics, either ends of the southern winter, where hot and cold air meet or, or hot air and cold sea temperatures producing this kind of cyclone. But there are worrying signs here for the specialists. We had a, a similar cyclone in the region in June at the start of the southern winter. Um, that affected four, 40 cities and left 16 dead. That was the worst cyclone this region had experienced until now. So there are worrying signs that this could be getting worse and that the after effects in, in future cyclones could be felt by some of the big cities. And these natural disasters, they do tend to expose man-made problems because what, what stands clear usually is the precarious nature of much of Brazil's infrastructure, a situation that means that the poor are usually the most vulnerable.